Hi everyone, welcome back to another healing demo. I'm Jason Infinite Magic. We have Seth on the table. Seth is here for the first time experiencing the energy healing. I'm very excited for this healing. Let's say hello, Seth. Well, hello. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> Seth doesn't know what's happening to him at the moment. So it should be fun. If anybody would like to ask me any question or even the camera girl Alison questions, please ask anything you'd like and we're going to do a separate video on answering your questions. I'll put this in a post for everyone but if you have any questions about anything we'll both do our best to answer them for you because I know people have a lot of questions so we thought that might be a fun way to have the questions being answered. So let's get started. Okay so as I do I'm just going to do a tune in with Seth. Another male on the table. Woohoo. It's usually girls. Okay, what's going on? So I'm just going to do a training. <sighs> oh, okay. Bottom diamond's out. It's like hovering. Oh, okay. So you're in a body. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. The party is going to me. What's going on? What's happening? What are you doing to me? <laughs> okay, let's start from the bottom. It's like his um, Seth's top diamonds like hovering here. Oh, yeah, so that'd be his astral body. So it's gonna bring your astral body back in. Bring his astral body back in, just. So I've heard a couple of comments where people think that when I do the, the adjustment of one leg longer than the other, it's not real. I can guarantee you that is real and there's no illusion with fixing that when I need to fix it with people. So I'm just going to just put energy into his bottom part of his body, his legs, feet. Okay, he's really out of, out of body at the moment. For all of you clear voids out there, you will be able to see. People that feel, see and feel that Seth's not in alignment, he's really out. Because Seth is a busy boy. He's doing a lot, so that would be helping as well. So we're gonna do, so today's all about realigning Seth. Oh, okay, things are starting to come back. Okay, let's do the diamond. So today's all really about um, the basic foundation of Seth's pattern, his geometry, which is the diamonds and the triangles. We need to really work on that. We know 
he's got a shoulder injury as well. But maybe for all this other work it might help out the shoulder because he'll be back in alignment. And Seth does weight training and bodybuilding as well. bucket, violet flame, and I'll do one here too, so I'll pack another flavor of flame, before I sweep, you okay Seth? Yeah. You're a bit relaxed. How are you feeling? Taking, taking it all in. Yeah. <laughs> this is your first healing. It, or did you say you, you know people that yeah. did Reiki? Yeah. So what questions do you guys out there have for me? And for Alice and the camera girl. Okay. I think somebody asked me in the comments what I do, why I do the breathing. So what I'm doing is when I'm doing the, that's I'm releasing say Seth stuff. So I don't take it on. So my, yes, I transmute everything, but what I can't transmute or what I don't need to transmute, the body automatically just, I just blow it out automatically. I don't think about blowing it out. It just happens that way. Because when you're doing healing work on people, you don't need to take on their stuff. That's not your job to take on their stuff. Unless it resonates with you and you're working through the same stuff as them, then that's different. a lot of people on the table who when I do some work they just all of a sudden look heaps more taller you're energetically really tall well 
he, he tall, all these tall beings and these little physical avatars. Let's do your feeling center. How are we going, baby? Yeah, good. So we're doing the feeling center. I've got to get all these people back that I've done sessions with. I've got to get Alison back on the table too. We'll get Alison on the table next. Feeling center is pretty good. Just work stuff. Basic work here. Okay, that's better. Let's check your spine. Your back issues at all? That's your shoulder, isn't it? Yeah. Is it the left one, isn't it? This yeah. one? Yeah. Let's have a look at your spine first and your hips. Because the reason I reckon this this is out, this is hurting, because it's you're, you're out of whack, out of alignment, and it's putting a lot more pressure and a lot more work into that area. Yeah. I'll have a look at that too, because we've got time. So. Please, we might as well do the master back pattern, please. Master back pattern. And the spine and the hips around to the front. Count that in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay, spine. Hip. Spine, hip, yep. That's a little bit out. Okay, so. Something's not in alignment because all of a sudden I felt a bit dizzy. So just doing a lot of alignment with Seth's spine. Do you like feel disorientated at times? A little bit. Yeah, I'm feeling that. So what's in the neck area? Base. Okay, let's 
have a look at your so just go through your skeletal skeleton anatomy pull that off clean that out put those back in that's muscular not Skeletons per se. Okay, so I'm not feeling the dizziness anymore. So I'm just going to put light through. Top of the head. My through the spine. Through the legs. Through the base. Into Gaia. looks a bit aggressive but because I can it all back in it's not it's as aggressive as what it looks like okay, yeah, yeah but no it just will hover there yeah and then because Alice and everybody's just going geez that's a bit aggressive it's like yeah it looks aggressive but it's not because I just put everything back because I could put everything back myself but in case I muck up which left and right it's easy just for me to count it back and it goes back that way. So everything back in right location, position, healing center. Frequency and sound, please. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. <sighs> okay. Let's have a tune and have a look. It's gonna be. You might feel a bit strange after this, Seth, because we've done a um, an realignment on everything. So you might feel like you're out of alignment because that's what you're used to being out of alignment. So put you back in alignment, so you might feel odd. <clears throat> I'm just doing some work on this level. Oh. Now level of clearing with the yawn. through the centre of the feet. It's so wet here and raining. It's amazing how bad of a day it is outside here. In Melbourne, Australia. It's such a nice, cosy, warm environment here. Compartment. Get 
rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's be a companion. Everything back to right location, position, healing level, frequency, and sound, please. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to put some energy and healing into the shoulder. I hope when I do that, Seth. A little bit, yeah. yeah. I mean, if it hurts, or hurts all in there, yeah, he stretched and overloaded it. That's why. Because you've been out of alignment, this side's been compensating for it. Seth's been um, lifting a lot of heavy weights because he's, as I said before, bodybuilding. So because he's been out of alignment, this side's been working a lot more harder. So you can't do chest and certain exercises for about a month. So I'm going to just put some energy in there. And I'm gonna pull at that part of the body pattern and weave it and do some mending on it. It's like it's been, um, not just overworked, but... I can't think of the word. Pulled, cut, stretched. Also, the pain probably going up through here as well. So we're getting the pain going from here to here. Because that's when I was doing a lot of the head alignment with the spine. I kept on getting the neck as part of that as well. Also, that's probably where you felt dizzy because of mm. the shoulder going all that. The back of the neck. Yeah. 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 And he's not in body a lot. That's why you're clumsy also, Seth, because you're not 100 percent in your body. You think you're putting something there, but you're actually not in a way. So it's like when you put something on a table, for example, you gotta really focus on putting that object on the table and placing it there. But you don't do. You think you do, but you don't. So my intention is just putting light healing energy into this area for it to quickly mend. As for the muscle of the joint, down to the cellular level of the pattern, the body, between the atoms, the atoms to now heal. 
in this now moment, healing quickly, efficiently, with ease. As my energy is helping to activate the healing energy within the body. Okay, so I'm going to bring that part of the pattern to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to just bring that over here. I've just got that part of the, the pattern body up here, and I'm just going to zoom into it. And I reckon there's something that needs to be reconnected. It's broken fibres. So I'm just going to weave the fibres together. So I'm weaving a silver essence. I keep on being pulled over. So what is pulling me over? It's that string. Scissors, golden scissors. Get rid of that. I don't know what you are. It's off. that door. Okay, bring back. So an external influence from another frequency amplifying the area for it not to heal. Yeah. You know it's really weird. Mm. I'm getting the entity I, they, something's effing from my head, but I'm getting the character from Deadpool. Which one, actually Deadpool? Yeah, actually Deadpool. Okay. Yeah. That well, he's or not just about kick ass and stuff, but he's also it's all jokes, jokes, mucking around, killing, not, pillaging. Not, not taking things seriously. Yeah. Ah, oh, that would be representation of Seth as well. Mm. So that part of Seth is like, well, this is not serious. This is this is a game, and it all is, but it's putting him off centre. Mm. He's not able to really focus and be in alignment. Yeah, okay. So that's, that represents that part of himself. That doesn't want to take things seriously. Mm. Doesn't want the responsibility. Yeah. Yeah, and but he has a lot of responsibility. Mm like a, a, a large amount of responsibility. Mm. Yeah, okay. So did that part of Seth or that part of the archetype like, understand that? And he's just now, yeah, I'm getting now the Deadpool archetype just now going off dancing, you know, how he does skipping and <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, you're not really need it anymore, mate. So I'm shut that door, cut that. That and bring this back. Mm, interesting. So what we just did there using I uh, use archetypes. So we use the archetype, which is a representation of Seth, that's come through to help me do the healing process, which is connected to this part of his anatomy, this part of his pattern, and also the part of his life where he needs to be a lot more grounded and a lot more. What would you say? It's the balance of being grounded, playful, and serious. Yeah. And being the adult and responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. Or what she said, if you can hear her. Well, that's what I'm going through. Yeah. That's what Alison's saying. That's what she's going through at the moment. So responsibility, being grounded, grounded, but also being playful. Be at, playful. At the same time. So it's a balance of all of that. Yeah. It's so a balance of being playful, being grounded. Responsibility. Responsible. Ambition. Ambition, drive, drive. but being it's all like, of that combined together. Yeah, it's like being serious but not being too serious. At times where you need to be serious and at times you don't need to be. Yeah. It just depends on what you're doing at the time. Yeah. How's it feeling now, Seth? Weirdly better than what it was before. Mm, yeah, good. I know, right? It's a bit weird. 
because what we just did, we worked on everyone's cellular memory. So we're working within the cellular structure of the pattern in the physical body, and that was able to come out to give us a heads up what's going on within Seth. Because Seth said to me, oh, I think it's a bit bullshit, but I'm going to try it. I was like, yeah, cool, just come and try it. Because you never know if it's real or not until you experience it yourself, until like something happens like, you're, oh wow, that actually, I do feel better. So I can understand why people call me a charlatan or heal as a charlatan, because until you experience it, it's very challenging to understand it. Oh. Mm -hmm. A minute from this area. I'm um, getting also there is maybe um a hook or like a shard or something in there. I was gonna say, is there like a fine yeah. tip needle or There's something in there, mm. yeah. Yeah, he's being put in there. Mm. Yeah. I've been shown as a like a hooky thing that you're being shown, Alice is being shown that's like a like a fine needle. It's not like a skin, but like it's like a long a long rod. Yeah, that's sharp on one end. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna So I do from what you've said it's like coming out of the arm now. Okay. So I'm going to do what I'm getting from what you said. I'm going to do what I'm getting from what I said. Okay. So I'm going to, yeah. And what you're saying, it's like stainless steel. Yes. And it's really thin. Yeah. So I'm going to pull that out. Well, yeah, there will be bleeding. Okay. Yeah. Etheric bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll do a quarter eye, quarter. And I'll just finish that up a bit too. I might bandage him up when he gets up. I feel like he just needs a bit of support for the moment for the next few days. So I'll do a bandage. Oh, can I do it sitting down? Okay. I want to do sound lines. Might be easier if I do. You're okay, mate. everyone <sighs> so baby your arms feeling better too oh really 
So Alison's had a really sore left arm too, because Seth has got the left arm, and from the healing energy and um, with her arm, his arm, she's saying that it feels a lot better. So we'll send the energy to people who have got bad left arms, or bad arms, and have the energy of today help and support and fix that too. It doesn't matter where you are in the, in the world. That's cool. Which was the idea of this, was to help heal people everywhere. Or activate the healing energy within people to heal themselves. On a quantum level. <sighs> a lot better, Seth. I just put my hands underneath your head. Just then have to balance of the mind. So I just intentionalize my gentle and blue. Find an essence for that shoulder. I'll show everybody my little Chiron toolbox. I'm going to find an essence for um, Seth for his shoulder. See if I can find one. I'll give you guys a sneak peek at the essences. Actually, the toolbox. So these are the essences that I sometimes use. These, they all do different things. So there you go. So show me. So I'm going to do intuition and ask. What is the essence that Seth needs for his shoulder? Here. Isis, essence of the unknown for higher justice and balance. I'm going to say balance. Mm. Justice and balance. Interesting. So I, I tap it to expand it. One, two, three. It expands it, makes it more powerful and stronger. That's what I can do with the the spray too. I've done it that way as well.
Mm. It's like he's being something about justice, he's getting the scales, justice. That'd be past stuff. Also the shoulders are all about carrying the burdens as well. So carrying the burdens, the emotional burdens on the left side, so carrying the, the emotional burdens. It's also the feminine. So yeah, very interesting. It's a lot going on on this side. No wonder your shoulders bug it up. So when Seth watches this when it's uploaded, it'll be interesting to see what he gets from it. Then I feel like I just need to do one more essence. So let's have another go at this. So what does Seth need at this moment in time for his entire pattern? Triangle number seven essence. Let's do another one. So triangle seven. Ah, it is essence of brother Gaia, the guardian of men. So it's trying to number seven. That'd be up here. Oh. Okay, so it's called Gumbi. The brother, it's brother Gaia, guardian of men. That's cool. That's very cool. So Seth needs help from the Brotherhood, that's why I'm here. Third eye. Okay. We are almost done. What an interesting healing. Never thought. You just never know what's gonna, what's going to come out. What needs to be looked at. going to do the, the supportive bandage and from this angle in my mind. So let's visualize Seth and me. The intention is to leave that on for the few days that is needed. Support Seth's shoulder at this time. This is the time for Seth to heal and rebalance and recenter, regroup. Okay, everything back in the right location, position, healing level, frequency and sound please. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, open your eyes. So we're going to get you up very slowly. So just stay there for the moment. So we're going to get you, Seth, to roll towards me. Yeah, this way, on your side. That's it. Just relax. Put your head down. Just relax. That's it. And we'll put light through your hip, back into Gaia. Work with gold energy too, Seth. Take your legs down and lift yourself up, and I'll help you. Just sit there. Okay, how are you going? Good. Your eyes are looking better, yeah. Jump down. I've got you and I've got the table. I've got to grab you and the table. <laughs> Have a seat. Oh. There we go. All done. Oh. Seth could have stayed there for Well, that's the healing done for today. That was really cool. I wasn't expecting that. As I say, every time I do a healing, it's always different. I'm now going to talk to Seth and just see how he went quickly. Let's put the mic. So the question is, how'd you go? Good. Um, I could definitely feel the presence after beginning on the table. Mm. I just felt a bit different, interesting. Yeah. Didn't think I'd feel that. Yeah. Um, yeah, came into it very s skeptical of what I was getting myself into. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. How's the shoulder? Feels different. Yeah. One thing I did notice when you were doing work on it was the other shoulder felt different. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I don't know if that correlates or anything. Yeah, because I did the balance of the, the whole pattern. So it will, everything will feel different. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. No, it was good. good. It's good. Yeah. Good work, Seth. You did good. You did good. So that Seth, it's the first time. He didn't know what to expect, but he had an understanding because he's watched some of the videos, so that was good. I get people to watch the videos now before they come into a session just so they have an understanding. And a big thank you for Alison the Camry Girl for helping out again. You've done a great job. And as I said at the start, if you have questions that you would like to ask uh, Alison and myself about anything, about the modality or anything you'd like, we'll do our best to answer them and we'll do a separate video on that. So I've been getting that in my head for quite a while. So that might be helpful and handy, be a lot of fun too. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening and we'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone. Bye.